Hey, that anxious artist here. It is Saturday and I'm just hanging out of my house. I'm not gonna change. I'm just gonna keep on my night clothes. I know some people wake up and like actually change into clothing if they're not going somewhere and they're just hanging out in their house. I've never done that before in my life. Like if I'm going somewhere, obviously I'm gonna put on clothing, but like if I'm in my house, I don't put on like outside clothes. Like I wanna be comfortable. So I keep my night clothes on. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. Also my hair is um, purple. It's a thing. We're not happy about this, okay? This was not intentional. For anyone that has seen either my personal page or just seen me in general on here, on Insta, whatever, you know my hair is pink. My logo is supposed to be me and you know my hair is like very pink usually. Like it's usually hot pink, borderline fuchsia. It's usually very pink. And I decided recently that I was gonna stop bleaching it and I was just gonna let the pink grow out. But then one day I was like, wouldn't it be cute if it was like my natural hair color to phase to a purple, then to like the nice pink. So it's gonna be like a nice little ombre. Don't try to ombre yourself at home because you end up with this. The problem was I should have dyed, I should have re-dyed the pink and the purple at the same time. I only did the purple. So when I washed the purple out, it got on the pink and it turned everything purple. But that is besides the point. We are gonna be doing some sticker making and some product making because yeah, I need to. Oh, I didn't even say this is a shop vlog, yay. I don't normally do those, but we're gonna, or studio vlog, this is a studio vlog. I don't normally do those, but we're gonna do one. Oh, we're gonna start doing one. Let's get into it. These babies also turned five today. Yay, happy birthday, Basil. Oh, look at the baby. Where are you going? Oh, here's his brother. Are you five years old today? Yes, you're five years old today. All right, so essentially what we're gonna be making is these, which are these sticker packs. I did one. Um, okay, so on my Etsy, I have sticker sheets. Actually, I'm gonna pull it up so you can see. This is my Etsy shop. This is what it looks like. Um, if we go into the sticker section so if you'll see i have die cut stickers which you can buy a sticker individually and then i have these sticker sheets now majority of the time the ones that are on the sticker sheets are also available as die cut stickers i think all of them except for the um zodiac series like the one like if it's on if it's on its own it's also on a sheet and to me that just doesn't make any sense like i don't know why i decided to do that that literally makes no sense you can buy it on a sheet or buy it by itself like what also i don't really think sticker sheets make sense for my type of art so my plan is to take the sticker sheets um knock one of these out because i only want four in a pack so we're gonna do four to a sticker pack and then we're just gonna get rid of the sheets all together because it just doesn't make any sense to me to have them available so we're going to be doing packs like these like i said so this is the star filled one so this comes with i think one of them is open so i can show you so this comes with four and it's these four so it's bottle magic you wish stargazer and we lit these will come in there and I'll be like this. And so I'm going to do that for the remaining sticker sheets. So I don't, I think I'm going to cut the variety out. I'm going to do the girls. I'm going to change some of the ones that are on there. Like I want no shade number two. I want star baby. And I also want, um, no to the moon and star baby. So I want these three. Let me open this up. <laughs> I don't know why it's so small. So I want these three, but I'm going to take both of her out. So I don't want her in there. And then I think for the third one, I will do the pumpkin and goatee one, but because I'm only doing four for the sticker packs, I'm probably gonna take out um, that pumpkin, the devil one, and I'll just leave these four uh, because those seem to be the ones that people like the most anyways. So that is my idea. So let's get to make it. So basically what I'm gonna be doing now is taking all of the files that I already had as sticker files. So they already have a cut line on them, but the cut line is very shaky. Um, it's like very wobbly and bec that's because these are all traditional art files. So I did the tra traditional art, I put it on Krita, I removed the background and then I like basically duplicated the image and then grew it 
so that way it's the same exact shape as the original and that doesn't really work for stickers because you need it to be a little bit more smooth the edges were like really jagged like the cut line edges i'm talking about so that's why you see me like redoing the cut line edges just smoothing them out a little bit because when i put them on my cricut and when i cut them just like that for in my mind i thought the cricut would like smooth it out which is stupid because it's not going to do that it just it basically cut exactly what was there so there was a lot of shaking and movement and bumping going on when i was doing it in the crick i mean with the cricket so i decided if i'm going to be making these sticker packs this is the perfect time to redo all my sticker files because i now have the ipad when i first made these sticker files i did not have an ipad i was just using krita and honestly i should have done this on krita as well but it's kind of hard when it's like when you're using a computer versus a tablet so that's why i decided to change them now i mean it was time anyways my cricket was not happy with me for having to cut all those jagged files plus just some of the shapes just don't make sense like there's gaps where there shouldn't be gaps so you see me filling some stuff in or like this like even in this one right here i'm filling in a little bit of it so it's just when you just grow an image and don't actually fill it in afterwards or like refine it afterwards it doesn't really work so i learned my lesson with that i won't be doing that again i have some other files that i have to do that for but i'm just going to be showing you the pumpkin and goatee sticker pack of me like actually fixing up the files but all of this is traditional art so if you work traditionally this is definitely something that can be done because this is all traditional art that i did this with and then i, I just if you watch my how to remove a background video you'll see how I remove my background and then I just essentially grew the image which is, I also show on my how I make my sticker sheets which is not how I make my sticker sheets anymore but those two videos are available if you want to see how to do this but I just sent the files to my iPad and then uploaded them and fixed them like that <laughs> And then I bought the brought the files into Cricut, and I just looked at the old one just so I can know what size I made them. I just I forgot what size it was. I wanted to double check. It was three inches, so I just imported all of these files in there, and I did make them print and then cut files because if they're just cut files, it's not going to actually print the image. So I made it a print and cut file, added them all to one project, and from there, um, I basically just size them to how I wanted them and then figured out how many can fit on a page which is what I will explain shortly <laughs> okay so the way that I decide how I print my stickers is probably a little weird but this is what I do so when I'm in the design space I just duplicate it I just keep duplicating the amount of um files that I have and then I click make it because it's four so I just keep duplicating the four because there needs to be four every time because it's going to be four in a pack so I just keep duplicating it every time until when I get to this screen I have full sheets of stickers so when I duplicated it only four times it had two full sheets and this third sheet it was only using half of it so I duplicated it another time because the one thing that I want to do is I want to print four, not four each, but I want to print all four stickers in as many full pages as I can, I guess is what I'm trying to get out. So once I have like a full page of something like it's just, there's that one little spot right there that could have something in it, but I'm not worried about that. I just want to use as much as the sheet as I can. So this gives me five sets on three sheets of paper. So I can print five sets for almost three full sheets of paper. So that's what I'm gonna do if that makes any sense. <laughs> And because the lengths, I mean, the widths of them vary, like she's very thin, this one's pretty wide, I usually go by height. So each sticker is three inches high, but the width will just be whatever it is because they're different widths, so that's what I do. And I decided three inches because on this pack, this is when I did the most trial and error, but on this pack, um, three inches high and duplicating it four times gave me the perfect amount of sheets. And so now I'm just gonna go with three inches high and We'll just see how many sheets I can get out of the other two sticker packs that I'm planning to do. But so for this pack, when I print it, like the, the save file, it prints four sets at a time, which is why I have these four here. And when I print this set, it'll print five. So I have five sets of this and we'll see what I have for the other one. <laughs> Oh, 
we have an issue. This print is crooked. I don't know if you can tell, but this side is way too close. And this side up here is not as close to the edge as this side is. So we're going to try and cut the file anyways. Chances are it's going to cut off, but I already printed it. So why not just try it? And if it prints off, I'll just, I mean, if it cuts off, I'll just reprint this sheet again and cut it again. But fingers crossed that the Cricut can read it correctly. But this is a printer error, not a Cricut error. My printer did this. <laughs> Like I thought, the further down it got, the more it cut off. So this one's cut all off. These two are actually fine, the first two. So these two cut pretty okay. But the more, the further down it went, the more off it cut, as you can see. You can see the difference in these two. So we will try that again and see if I can get my printer to grab the paper correctly. I have decided that my printer hates me. <laughs> Why is she blue? What? I guess I've run out of orange ink. It's fine. I have Insta ink and um, I have like three other ink cartridges that I could put in there, but like what? <laughs> I should cut this one out just because. I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna cut it out, <laughs> but I'm also gonna print it again. So we can get the real one, but I should cut it out just so I can have them for something. I don't know. For something. <laughs> well, at least it cut these correctly. <laughs> Even though there's some weird blue. Maybe I'll use these as some weird freebies. Like when I was testing out the other sticker sheets. I Some of them are smaller because I was trying to decide what size I wanted. So I figured I'll just make these freebies when people place orders. But who's gonna want freebies of these weird blue ones? It'll be like special edition. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with those, but these smaller versions will definitely be freebies. But these, I don't know what to do. the stickers are done so now I just have to create this file that has my name and my logo on the back I won't have to change that because that's already in there I'll just have to fix the front because I want it to be obviously for pumpkin and goatee maybe I'll put pumpkin on this side goatee on that side I think that's a good idea all right so now that I have all of the actual sticker cutouts I'm just gonna use this same template that I used for the star filled one. So I'm just gonna hit make a copy. This is Canva, by the way, which is one of my favorite websites. <laughs> Canva just does, does it all. Okay, so this was the template I used for star filled. So I'm just gonna take out these girls. I'm gonna change this to say pumpkin and goatee. might make it a little bit smaller I know that's not a real word thank you <laughs> make sure to center it with sticker pack and then I'm just gonna put pumpkin on this side and goatee on that side and it just makes it really simple when you're using Canva but either way I just I made a three inch by four and a half I think I think that's the size of these I believe it's like four and a half across so I just made that the length of this and then I just made this three inches because I know I wanted an inch and a half on each side and then I'm going to fold it on itself. So yeah, so this is three inches by four and a half, I think, or four and five eighths, four and four and something, four and something. It's the size of this thing. Okay. And then I just, I put this little triangular thing because that is what is on my channel. So it's kind of like my thing. It's also on my Etsy shop, that little triangle thing. It's in my logo, basically. And then I just put my actual logo which is my face <laughs> and then my website and I flipped those upside down but now I need to grab some pumpkin and goatee art which I think I have some in here already I have three businesses so ignore all the pride stuff that's in here that's also my pride job <laughs> all right I'm gonna keep the font the same I think I'm gonna keep the font the same on all of them just to keep it uniform and let's print this out. Before I was doing this with 
I was printing it on my printer and using my guillotine cutter to cut it out. But then I used my brain. And I think I should be using my Cricut to cut it out so it's the exact dimensions. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't think to do that, but we're going to download this. First, we're going to rename it. This is going to be called P and G. Procter and Gamble. <laughs> Pumpkin and goatee. All right, so as long as I make the height three inches, there we go. And then I'm just gonna duplicate. I think I can duplicate it three times. That's as many as I could get when I did it on my own. Yeah, if I do a fourth one, it's gonna give me another sheet. So we're gonna do three times. And that's that's the amount I could get when I printed it on my own as well. So not a big deal. So we're just gonna go make it. And then I'm just gonna use my it's like lightweight cardstock, so I'm gonna use that to cut this out. So now I have these. Oh, I'm gonna get on my handy scoreboard. Handy dandy. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way this way. <laughs> And I just have to go on the one and a half mark because these are three inches, so. One and a half mark. And this is just so that when I fold it, it folds correctly. It's a little scoreboard, so. You put your bone folder here, there's little grooves, and then you're able to score it where you need it. And then you can see it has a little line now. And then you can just fold it over. You can fold it with the bone folder as well to flatten it out and there you go all right and we're done let me just switch these over these are the ones that don't have uh, tops because i need these open because i need to take these out when i take product photos but anyways this is the girls pack so this is the one i did off camera so i have the girls star filled and pumpkin and goatee and we did not get to see which ones were in the girls so have riot star baby to the moon and no shade and that is what comes in the girls sticker pack and i'm just going to take some product photos of these and I need my phone to do that, which I record on, because I do everything on my phone, because your girl's broke. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll come back and we're done with that, I guess. Maybe, we'll see, I don't know. All right, I have all the stickers packed up, so pretty sure I already showed these ones, but we're gonna show them again, because I love the way they look. So, we have the girls, pumpkin and goatee, and star filled and I now have them all in bags because I did take all of the product photos so let's look at those so this is the listing or the listings now so here we have star filled the girls and pumpkin and goatee I decided to go with this one of me holding them in my hand for the main picture and then I just have like the pack and then them laid out and then like the pack again so they're basically that's what it's looking like on all of them. And yeah, that's what I went with. <laughs> so now that I have that done, I do have one other thing I need to do. So a couple of days ago, might've even been a week ago, I came home from work and I packed an order. But I was like, I was so tired when I was packing it. And it wasn't until after I'd already shipped it off that I was like, man, maybe I should have redone that mouse pad. I just, the quality wasn't exact, it wasn't bad quality, but it wasn't like what I wanted. But I was like so tired that I ended up just shipping it out and I was like, I probably should redo that. I mean, the mouse pad's already been shipped, it's going to Canada, so it'll be a while before it gets there. But I wanna redo that mouse pad and I think I'm gonna reship it because I just, if someone's paying for product, you want it to be the best that it can be. So then I'm gonna redo that mouse pad and ship that off all on its own. I'll probably email the customer to let them know what I'm doing. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I also did some product photos of these today, which are these like weekly planner pride sticker sheets. So it's just like different pride flags with weekly planner. 
sheets. Uh, this is actually from my print shop, but I don't think I'm going to go with the pictures that I took. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Place It. I don't know if I've spoken about Place It on this channel before, but it is a really great website for mock-ups, especially if you have something like this where you have like a ton of things you have to do. So I don't know. We'll see if I'm going to go with that or that. But yeah, just figured I'd show what else I did today because it is a studio vlog and this is a part of a shop, just not this shop. <laughs> So yeah, I did do these. And let me tell you, making all these sticker files, it was a lot of work, okay? It was a lot of work. Oh my gosh, I just realized I never remade the Ace one. Good job, now I'm gonna redo that. All right, my heat press is heating up. This is my file, but when you sublimate, which is what I'm doing, I'm sublimating the mouse pad. When you sublimate, you have to flip your, designs you have to invert them and yeah it's not not helping that she looks insane inverted <laughs> but you gotta flip it um inverted or horizontal flip horizontal whatever you want to call it and then i'm gonna print this on my sublimation printer so let's print that so not my regular inkjet which is my hp i'm gonna go to my epson 7720 and that's what we're gonna print on all right, and this is the mouse pad. They're pretty large. I actually don't want to sell this size anymore. I do have some round ones. So once these all run out, I am going to switch to just round mouse pads. And for sublimating, I make it slightly bigger than the mouse pad, just so I have somewhere, just to make sure there won't be any white left. Because let's say this was like right to the edge. It's possible that there could be like a slight line of just the white mouse pad. and. That's why I oversize it to make sure I get the whole image. Heat resistant tape. And with this, I like to flip, I don't know if you can see. I like to flip the tape underneath. This way I know that it's not gonna go anywhere. And here is the mouse pad. I don't know if you can see it properly. Let me get some better light. Here's the mouse pad and all of its view. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just watching um, this, these card detailing videos. I love these when it's like cleaning. You know what I realized? In my R Street Speed Paint still relevant videos, I think I spoke about like not liking anything that doesn't have a voiceover. I was speaking like strictly to like the traditional style speed paint drawings because things like this where it's like extreme cleaning and all that like I don't mind when those don't have voiceovers. Like he talks every once in a while but I don't mind when those don't have voiceovers. I don't know. I like I like watching process ones like that or like studio vlogs where they're like packing orders but not for like a super long time i don't mind when it's no words i don't like when it's like more than a minute of no talking for a packing video but nobody asked for my opinion on that anyways <laughs> that's what i have to say about that when i said i don't like things that are voice service i didn't mean i i meant like strictly like speed paints and stuff because i also like when people make miniatures and a lot of those don't have voiceovers either but i still like to watch those <laughs> yeah Let's pack this up. This cello bag is so loud and crinkly, but it's biodegradable, so it's the ones that I use. And then I also use these compostable mailers, and they start to break down within nine months, whether you use them or not. So, you know, we gotta get rid of these. I'm also just gonna give this freebie sticker because, you know, I made a mistake, so I'm gonna give freebies. All right, that's pretty much it for this uh, lazy Saturday, but that's all I'm gonna do for today, so bang. The babies went outside. It's still their birthday. Bye-bye. <laughs>